This may have something to do with it, but I think essentially what we have seen in this country is the lack of a strong workers' movement. Uh, in Europe, I think you have seen political parties, labor parties, uh, social democratic parties, who have stood up and said that we've got to make government work for all of us. Everybody is entitled to health care, public education, public uh, universities and, and colleges should be tuition free. Uh, seniors deserve to have strong retirement benefits. Workers have rights. We're pro-union. You have seen a stronger working class political movement in Europe than I think historically you've seen in the United and, States. And why, and why is that? Why, what, what is unique about the United States that has prevented it from having a real labor party? That's a great question. Uh, and I think I could tell you in, in some respects, uh, way back when, in, in the 1920s or earlier than that, where there really was a strong coming together of workers, the government came down really very hard on, uh, on the uh, Socialist Party of the time. Uh, during the 50s, you had attacks against uh, the labor movement through McCarthyism. Uh, so I think in this country, there has been a real hostility for the working people to get together, uh, to stand together, to create a government that works for everybody. And that's just the reality of where we're at. And um, I think that many people in, in my generation, many young people, um, don't quite understand how unions work or they don't feel identified by uh, right. the labor movement. Uh, how, how, does, how would you make a union sexy again for young people? That's a great, great question. Look, the answer is pretty simple. What a union is, is an understanding that when people come together, they have more power. That if you are dealing with your employer and you're getting low wages and you go up to your boss and say, hey, could you give me some more money? The guy says, hey, you know what? I got 10 other people who want your job. But if you walk in with a union and you sit down and you have collective bargaining and you have the power to strike, for example, then your owners have got to listen to you. They have to listen to your demands. So that's historically what unions have been about. Now, in the last many years, we have seen a decline in trade unionism in this country for a lot of reasons. And you're right. I think there are millions of young people who really are not familiar with what unions are about. Uh, and the reason for that is we've seen many manufacturing jobs which were unionized uh, leave this country. We've seen anti-union activity. Uh, but basically, if we are looking as we are today, uh, Fernando, at a generation, your generation, which everything being equal will have a lower standard of living than your parents, we're moving in the wrong direction. Clearly, young people have got to stand together to come together to demand that public colleges and universities be tuition free that we raise the minimum wage to a living wage, that we join the rest of the industrialized world and have health care for all, et cetera. But bottom line of what a union is, is that alone there are limits to what you can do. When you stand with your brothers and sisters, there's a lot you can do. About, what about in this sort of new so-called sharing economy? Like how, does, how, do you, how do you create a sort of a strong labor movement when a lot of the jobs are you know, sort of at will, uh, part time employment. How do you kind of do you, do you have to create a new class of workers or a new class or a new economic system? But let's understand I don't think you have to create a new economic system, but what we have to do is recognize that a lot of these part time jobs are just not great jobs. Uh, that many people who want to work full time are forced to work uh, part time. So, what do we have to do? I think number one, we need new trade policies so that corporate America invests in this country rather than shutting down here and moving abroad. Uh, I think number two, uh, we need to raise the minimum wage to a living wage. I believe it should be $15 an hour. Number three, as I've just mentioned, uh, we need to create millions of decent paying jobs. All right? Youth unemployment is very, very high in this country. We have got to invest in, among other things, rebuilding our infrastructure, transforming our energy system to combat climate change. When you do that, you create jobs. You know, one of Assalamu alaikum and hi, this is Kalish Faria Melati. Today, I will review a YouTube video where Bernie Sanders explained union to young people and in this video also explain about what is regulations. In early part of the video, Bernie Sanders said that when people come together, they have more power than if you're dealing with your employer and you're getting low wages and you go up to your boss and said, hey, could you give me some more money? And the boss said, hey, you know, what I got 10 people of the people who want your job but if you walk in with a union and you sit down and you have collective bargaining and you have the power to strike for example then 
your owners have got to listen to you. They have to listen to your demands. So that historically, historically what union have been about. Okay, but what is the types of regulations? Well, there are two types of regulation. First, general regulation where the trade union entitled to make representation in addition to the above general question of terms and condition of service on behalf of all women, whether or not they are members of the trade union. Secondly, limited regulation where the union is entitled to make representation on representation on individual grievances and to negotiate on behalf of its member only. And then the process of regulation, the trade union rights to the employer claiming regulation under IRA sections 92. The employer must reply within 21 days after receiving the claims. The employer can either decide to give regulations, to refuse, um, to re I mean to refuse regulations with reasons given or to request DGIR to verify whether the union is the correct union or for its industry, the correct union for, e for its industry, and whether the workers are member of the union. Um, okay, so lastly, Bennett Sanders also said that in the video that bottom, the bottom line of what union is that when you alone, there are limits to what you can do. Maybe you can do for your, for your own good, but when you stand with your brothers and sisters, it's going to be a different result in a good way. So that's all from me. Thank you. Assalamualaikum. My name is Anana Jobinti Nur Azmi. This YouTube review is based on Bernie Sanders' video. Based on his explanation, Sanders allowed so-called sectoral collective bargaining which is the goal of the trade union movement is to create an agreement system that will work to set wages, benefits and hours for entire industries, not just for individual employers. Other than that, Sanders also promised to protect and expand pensions for public and private employees. The provision signed as part of an omnibus spending deal created a mechanism for reducing retirement benefits when penetrasty are able to prove financial distress. Sanders believe we must rebuild trade unions so we can rebuild the middle class. Strengthened trade unions is a central part of Sanders campaign. During in 2016 campaign, Bernie was endorsed by the following national and international union, such as American Postal Worker Union that represented 250,000 members and Communication Workers of America that represent 700,000 members.